Hello and welcome to this news broadcast brought to you by the Cardinal Broadcasting Company. I'm Alexis Grease. And I'm Michael Dane. Delivering you campus news at the Catholic University of America. On today's episode, we will take a closer look at student filmmaking, a tap dancing filled main stage musical, the SGA election results, and more. But first, we would like to invite you all to a journalism panel at the Cardinal Broadcasting Company's joint event with The Tower on Saturday, April 29th from 2 to 3.30 in Gowan, room 126. The panel will include local professionals and will be a great way to make connections and learn more about the different types of careers in journalism. We hope to see you there. Last Tuesday, April 11th, students across campus participated in Catholic University's student government executive elections, resulting in over 1,300 votes cast, the largest voter turnout ever in SGA's history. Mavis Fahey, Alex Harvey, Sean Scully, and Kathleen Polking of Rise Catholic U were elected to the Student Government Association's 2023 to 2024 executive. Here's what each of them had to say. Here, we made this video. Can you talk to me about what this win means tonight for you? Everything, community. I've loved this place since the moment I came here. And for all the people that have made me feel at home here, this is for you. Thank you so much to everyone who came out who participated today, whether it was for us or the other team. It means the absolute world to us. It's been a long process, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's the people here, like it's it's all the supporters, everyone getting involved, being passionate about this SGA election. We are really, really excited to work to make every student here feel valued and loved on this campus because that's what SGA is for. We're here to serve the students and we're excited to serve you. I'm excited to get to work and to start forming the board, which is going to start in just a few days. Um, oh boy, I'm sorry I'm at a loss for words, but this is... Um, I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. We want to thank all who voted and congratulate both tickets, Rise Catholic U and New Day CUA, on running very spirited and hard fought campaigns. This Thursday, students from the Media and Communications Department will be putting their work on display during the Catholic University's annual Student Film Festival. We got a chance to speak with a few of the filmmakers about their process. Let's take a look. So go ahead and leave it mm -hmm. I don't know what's on your mind I am very excited that So About Last Night is going to be featured in Cardinal Reels. I think we just really wanted to push ourselves since we were so used to just creating documentaries. I think we really just wanted to push like the creative side of things and the narrative and just do something, you know, Different. I am very proud of our film and like it's probably one of the biggest projects like I've ever done. Um, and I'm just so proud to be able to show it to like our peers and have Glenn see it and all of our friends and so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for everyone to be able to see it. <laughs> My name is Katie Chmielewski and I wrote, directed, produced and edited guidelines for the sidelines. A lot of the inspiration, and I know like the editing style is very office-esque because I, I know that that's a very popular form of mockumentary, but all the humor comes from the people who I cast in it and from just everything around me in terms of that athletics world where people are freaking out over referees and all that stuff. I'm very excited to for the general reaction to mine, I'm also very excited to see everything that people have worked on. It's a fun, it's like going to an art museum, but with films. The Cardinal Reels Festival will take place this Thursday, beginning at 6 p.m. in the Crow Center Auditorium. For more information on the festival, visit mediastudies.catholic.edu. Select student films will also be put on display during tomorrow's University Research Day. 
To learn more about the day's presentations and performances, you can visit research-day.catholic.edu. In sports, Catholic Athletics recently announced Kevin Robinson as the new Director of Athletics and Associate Vice President. Welcome, Kevin. The women's lacrosse team won over the Goucher Gophers last Wednesday 24 to nothing. This was their first shutout victory since 2018. Great job, ladies. We would also like to congratulate the Catholic University dance team, who was named the 2023 Division III Team Performance National Champions. Great job. We want to wish all of the spring sports teams the best of luck for the remainder of their seasons. In the world of arts and entertainment, Anything Goes hits the Harkey stage this weekend. I got a chance to interview a few of the production's actors. Let's take a look. I'm Emma Mangiacotti. I am a senior musical theater major at Catholic University, and I'm playing Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes. So we had to audition for Jay Brock and Kim Schaefer. Uh, Jay Brock is our director and Kim is our choreographer. And I had to sing 32 bars for them. And then after that, we had a dance call and we had a jazz dance call and then a tap dance call. I've never been in a show this dance heavy before and I'm doing a role that requires a lot of dancing, so it's me stretching every day, it's me making sure that I have the dance and singing endurance to be able to get through like the day and the show. Anything Goes is such a fun show, and there's just so many good, light-hearted moments. Um, it's really a comedy, like, it's just really funny. Everyone's very, very funny. And it's really entertaining. There's a lot of good dancing, there's a lot of good singing, and it's just something that's very lighthearted and it's perfect timing for final season because it's just something that you can go into and laugh and enjoy and not have to think about that much. We just got out of COVID. It's, we've had a really, really rough two years of COVID and this is the perfect show to just kind of go out there, be with a bunch of friends and go see it and just laugh your faces off. It's so fun and we put our heart and soul into it and you know what they say, anything goes, so. <laughs> now you can see these talented students in action April 21st to the 23rd in the Harkey Theater. Looking for more live music? Check out the Spring Choir Concert on April 27th at 7.30 p.m. in Heritage Hall and the Symphony Orchestra Concert on April 29th at 7.30 p.m. in the Harkey Theater. You can also check out the Senior Art Exhibit in Salve Regina Hall now through May 13th. For tickets and more information on these Rome School shows and events, visit arts.catholic.edu. This week, the weather will be mostly cloudy with temperatures in the low 70s. Although it won't be as warm as last week, it will still be perfect for spending some time on the Basilica lawn. If you have news you would like to be included in future broadcasts, you can follow us on Instagram at Cardinal Broadcasting Company and follow the link in our bio. That is all we have for this broadcast. I'm Michael Dane. And I'm Alexis Grease. And this broadcast has been brought to you by the Cardinal Broadcasting Company at the Catholic University of America. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you soon, Cardinals.